Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If you have recently bought a Celestron Nexstar SLT telescope and want to update the hand control and motor control from there, here is the step by step guide for you. This is Rahul from Astro Shooting Stars. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So this is the controller that you come that come along with the Celestron SLT telescope. So to check the latest version, click on the menu button. Under the menu, go to the utilities section, press enter, and then go to the version section and press enter. You will see the latest version as of now on the controller is 5.31.9102 and motor control is 5.18. At the bottom of the controller, you will find a port for updating. It is a mini USB port. To update it, first you have to boot into the bootloader mode. To do that, you have to hold the Celestron button and menu button at the same time. Please ensure at this time your USB is unplugged and your mount is powered off. Once you hold the button, first insert the mini USB port and connect it to the PC. As you can see, the power will be turned on on your controller and then what you have to do is turn on the mount as well. Please ensure the sequence is followed to properly boot into the bootloader mode. As you can see, as of now, controller is into the bootloader mode and ready to accept the new or latest version of the firmware. Now let's get onto the PC to download the Celestron firmware manager. To do that, you have to go on celestron.com. On this web page, you will find the section of support. In this support section, you will find an option of manuals and softwares. Click on that option. It will take you to another page. You will find another option there for drivers and software. Click on that option. In under this section, you will find the Celestron and drivers firmware. You will have a download button to download the Celestron firmware manager. It is a zip file of around 4 MB. It will be downloaded under your download section of your PC. Once the zip file is downloaded, all you have to do is extract this folder. This is the software that you will use to update the firmware on the controller. As of now, I am extracting this uh, on my desktop. You can extract it to any place that is convenient for you. On the desktop, you will see the extracted folder. Under the extracted folder, you will find a jar file which is named as CFM, Celestron Firmware Manager. This is a Java based updater. So ensure that you have a latest Java runtime installed on your PC to run this uh, software. First section that you will see is list of devices. As of now, nothing is detected. Under the second window, you will see there are some instructions given to you on how to connect your controller to your PC and put it into the bootloader mode. I have already done that. So this is just for an information for me. So click on next to move forward. Once your controller is into the bootloader mode, there is nothing more you have to do. Your controller will be automated, automatically detected in the first section. As you can see, the controller icon is visible and all your required software is already downloaded, which can be seen under the second section. In the third section, you have an update button. Click on that update button to start updating. As you can see, in the first section, the controller is properly detected and you can see one item is found. And in the last section, you can see to update it to the latest version, it takes around 11 packages to update it to the latest firmware version. On the right side of the window, as you can see, the uh, devices were detected. The version to which it will be updated to will be 5.31.9200. Motor control version will still be 5.18, which is the latest version as of now. So it will not be updated. Only hand control firmware version will be updated to the latest version. I am not going to fast forward this uh, video so that you can understand how long does it take to update the firmware on the controller. In my experience, it took around two to three minutes to update this firmware on the control. There are some important points that you need to keep in mind while updating the firmware. Ensure that your controller is securely connected to your mount and your USB is properly connected to your controller. There has to be no loose connection so that your update is not interrupted and your controller is not uh, corrupted or the software is not uh, interrupted. 
Also ensure that you, are, you have a steady power supply to your laptop as well as to your mount. Ensure your laptop is fully charged and your mount is connected via adapter or it has an AAA batteries to properly power up the mount. This controller is a new controller so you will see a mini USB port at the bottom of the controller. But if you have purchased this uh, telescope earlier so you might also find another kind of port which is RS-232 port at the bottom of your controller but the process is going to be same all you have to do is connect that rs232 controller to your pc to start with the detection process and notation rest all thing is going to be exactly same also your cable for this mini usb to usb is not included with this purchase so all you have to do is purchase this mini usb cable uh, from third party or online uh, or any local store I have purchased this uh, cable from Amazon. I will put the link below for the Amazon so that you can see which uh, which cable to purchase from Amazon. If, if it is RS-232, please buy an RS-232 uh, cable for your uh, controller. As you can see, we are almost nearing the update. It is the last update. And then once the update is completed, you will see the success message on the screen. Now let's get on to the controller to see what is the latest version on the controller. To check that, we have to again go to the menu, click on the menu button on the Celestron controller, scroll through the menu to find out the section of utilities. Once you find the utility section, press enter and then scroll again through the option until you find the version. Click enter again to check the latest version. As you can see, the latest version is 5.31.9200 and motor control is 5.18. So this is how you update the firmware on the controller of the SLT telescope. This is 127 SLT Celestron telescope. So this is how you update the firmware on the controller. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on that like icon and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to my channel.